Turn it up. Hey everyone, guess what? I got good news and I got really sad news. The sad news first is Stuart Little's gone. I got rid of him today, picked up a whole new project. It needs a lot more work, but it's a project car. And uh, Stuart Little hopefully went to a good home and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the new car. See what you guys think. Bam, there it is. This is a 2002 Lexus IS 300. It needs work. That whole, I'm gonna walk around and show you guys the whole car. And Stuart Little was traded for this IS. So this is, welcome to the new project. I know I got that one back there and that one but that one should be done pretty soon. I'll make another video, me finishing that up and having some fun with it. But I'm gonna show you guys real quick what this needs. Obviously for one, the headlights are completely fogged out, but we know I can fix that. Do a little walk around. This fender is a little crunchy, but the owner of the car gave me a brand new silver fender to put back on there and you know get the car painted. And there's nothing wrong with the suspension. It's just, uh, it's not broken, at least not on this side. It's on full body coilover, so it's adjustable. And they have it way too low. That is, I don't, I'm not a stance life kind of guy. So that's gonna get raised up. So those are actually, I think someone told me those are newer Civic SI wheels. Those are coming off those. They don't look that good on here. And then there's some different type of wheels on the back. So let me go around to the back of the car, guys. It's a nice, it's actually a nice car. So the reason this needs a lot of work is, let's go to this side. Oh, there you go. So what I was told is, oh my God, I almost fell. <laughs> so what I was told is the owner, yeah, and that fender is silver, so it'll have two silver fenders. So what I was told is uh, she was driving along. Someone basically brake checked her. She locked her brakes up and smacked something on the front. So if you notice, that wheel is uh, cocked in. So got to pop this whole jacket up, pop this wheel off, see what's going on with the suspension under there. And then this one is bad. Look at that. It is literally... <laughs> it was so scary driving this thing home. I drove this home 40 miles an hour and the back end was just squeaking and squirreling and it was funny. I should have recorded it, but I didn't want to die. <laughs> so there is some body damage there. Some body damage here. She uh, told me she hit it with a hammer to pop it back out. She didn't do too bad considering how bad it actually was dented in pretty good, but we're gonna see if we can fix that. And we're gonna see if we can fix all this. But I'm gonna show you guys the interior. Here's the interior. It needs, door panel doesn't look too bad on camera, but it's pretty dirty. And yeah, I got a lot of cleaning to do. This is, she's pretty funky inside. Carpets are pretty dirty. There's, I don't know what that is. Stuff all over the dash. The seats are pretty stained up, but guess what? There's no ripped seats. No ripped seats for me this time. Let's go to the back. Whoop. Back's even worse. I think they had kids or they just like candy. Yeah. So, yeah. I got a lot of cleaning to do real quick. I don't know if that's just dirty or that's burned. I think it's burned. Yep. So, I'm going to clean it. We'll go around the other side real quick for you guys. Tent needs to come off. Here's the other side. Some uh, pieces for the car. Still, seats are all stained up. 
driver's seat's pretty stained up. But overall, it's a a nice car. I think I think it'll clean up well. We're gonna make a lot of videos of this thing. This might be my new daily driver, so I might fix. We're gonna fix the suspension, fix all that, try to fix all that, and we might plastic up this whole car. We'll see. So, see you guys later. I'm gonna clean this car, and I'll show you guys it in another video.